Here we have a Lindy USB and ESATA docking and clone station. And now this uh, little gadget here serves two purposes. Uh, one is a docking station, so you can place a raw 3.5 or 2.5 inch hard disk drive into the two drive bays here and use it as an external hard drive. Or you can place two hard drives into this and clone from one straight to the other without the need to link to a PC in between. So let's open the box first and take a look at what you receive inside the package. So if we open this box first, okay so we have just a, a small leaflet in regards to different uh, cables and so on, uh, items sold by Lindy. We have a H disk drive docking and clone station user manual and is the actual unit itself we'll come back to that in just a second inside here take this out ah, here we go we have UK 3 pin power supply we have a USB cable uh, similar to what you receive with the printers and in here we have a standard eSATA cable okay so on to the actual device itself just a plain box it looks uh, rather plasticky it's very light doesn't weigh anything whatsoever um, inside there you should be able to see your SATA connections so here you would place two a 2.5 inch hard drive, so a laptop hard drive will go into these spaces or if you wanted to use desktop hard drive these just fold down and you can insert 3.5 inch desktop hard drives. Now you've got target and source written here so basically you can insert two drives whether it's 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch and you have a button around the back and it will use this drive as the target, this drive as the source and clone everything across sector by sector. So at the front we've got nothing, These uh, this plastic line down here actually contains the lights, so red and blue lights uh, for the operation status. Around the back here we have a power button, there's the power supply input, USB connection, eSATA connection and a small button down here named duplicate. Now that's the button you press when you want to clone from one drive to the other without using a PC uh, or a Mac in between. So you place two hard drives into the top, press this button once um, and then you press it, I believe you press it a second time after five seconds just to confirm and it will copy everything from one drive across to the other. So there we go, quite a simple small gadget useful for system builders who uh, need to clone a large number of hard drives or very useful for backup purposes for example uh, if you wish to play use bare hard drives which are cheaper than external USB hard drives so you could purchase a couple of bare hard drives put them in the slots here connect to your PC or Mac via USB or eSATA use them to back up all your data and then remove them and keep them away for uh, safe storage. So let's just take a quick look at um, the cloning of this drive and uh, we'll give it some final thoughts after, after that. So here as you can see I have two 2.5 inch hard drives installed in the system so two laptop hard drives. Now I'm cloning from one straight to the other so from the source which is the first drive to the target being the drive behind you simply switch the unit on you get the red light press the duplicate button which is on the back of the unit the red light flashes for five seconds you then press the duplicate button again just to confirm and you get the blue lights and that basically shows that uh, the data is being duplicated once complete the system you will shut down all by itself Okay, so as we can see, 
nice little uh, gadget here it does exactly what it says on the tin very good for system builders who want to uh, clone drives for uh, placing it as systems before they're sold or moved on very good for anyone who works in IT uh, support for example who need to clone drives and uh, get them into PCs also very good to use as a backup or a general external hard drive uh, you can buy the bare hard drive cheaper than a USB hard drive for example in an external enclosure use them as your external drives or backup drives and then remove them and keep them away for safe storage so uh, a nice gadget overall is not too expensive and if you have a use for it highly recommended hope you found this video useful